I will be there. No, no, no. I, I already switched. I already switched. Oh, okay. Good to sort of want to join one of those races. Okay, let's see what this has me do. Uh, sorry for the gate earlier. I get all kinds of people in here, and the stories they tell to get inside. Not that I blame them, but the city can only take so many before bursting. So, I take it you're here for Balthazar. I am. I'm looking for a place to start. Any information you have would be helpful. Hmm. Well, your guildmates are being hosted by the chief counselor at the Civic Center. She can fill you in about the state of the city and the surrounding area. And she might know something about Balthazar, too. Sounds good. Anything from the ground level. Someone who's dealt with him or his army firsthand. My deputy Ayub is at the camp run by Komir's priesthood. The refugees there may be of help. And then there's... Hmm. How do you feel about getting a little lower than ground level to find what you want? I have a deputy assigned to the local smugglers, the Hamasin. Name a case. Not so sure he's mine anymore. But you might seek him out, if you don't mind walking on that side of the line, of course. I think I can stomach it. You'll find them at the casino. Fed lightly. Alright. And why is that Quagendal here? What do you want? You case. Maybe. Who's asking? Captain Rahim sent me. He's under the impression that you have access to Hamasin's network. Yeah? He's wrong. So beat it. Listen carefully, friend. I'm here to kill the god of war. Don't think I won't swat any flies that get in my way. Well, if that's your angle, then you need Zalambor. He runs things. He is the Hamasin's network. He's usually in his office in the casino, but he's a very busy man. I'm sure he'll spare a few moments for me. Oh, um, cancel that. I need to. Uh, whoops. Yeah, I still... oh, well. Yeah, I'm not in that part yet. Um, it's just talking anyways, oh, okay. Blaze. Oh, okay, so I have to actually... Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> right, then. Locally, I'll get you access to a vast... You must be Zalembol. I am. My friends, let's adjourn for now. In the meantime, my casino is yours. Enjoy the Grand Sahil's many luxuries. You spared me from a few more minutes of dealing with those smugglers. For this, I owe you. <laughs> but next time, make an appointment. Maybe I should explain why I'm here. Oh, I know why you're here, Commander. What I don't know is what it's got to do with me. Elonian wine? I'll pass. You sure? It's not poisoned or anything. I'm offended, Salambor. You've never once offered me wine. Ah, I present to you Archon Iberu, of the Morden Crescent. Archon, the commanders come to us all the way from Lion's Arch. This guy looks awesome. Our friend here was once a sunspear who opposed Joko, but it amuses his majesty to break and domesticate his enemies. Careful, Zalambor. As I'm sure you're aware, Chief Counselor Iman invited me here to discuss military aid for Amnun. It's vital to King Joko's interest that this alliance goes through. Amnun is among the last of the holdouts. And now, I hear you've been voicing your dissent. Archon, for the sake of our guest, might we drop the innuendo and get to the point? 
You're right. Here's the point. Uh, what are you? Yeah, why am I not surprised? Keep independence to neutral, resist, accept. I'm gonna go with keep independence to neutral. Yep. I'm full of unwise ideas. And I am currently fighting some guy with, for a Pelwag Joker. Lovely. I. Because he attacked me. Sun spears. Yep, remember those. I do. Why have I hated all of a sudden here? <laughs> because they fought Palawa Joko and Palawa Joko is in control now. We heal as one. You know, it's the entire we won the war so we get to paint you however the hell we like sort of deal. Oh, oh, good God! Scrits foragers. <laughs> we heal as one. Sickle. Oh, these guys aren't too hard to fight. They're focusing my pet. They're focusing my pet like freaking idiots. Hmm. Yep. Hey, is remember this one guy. I'm taking you're doing a different star than I am. Yep. I'm already out of mine. I'm head to a different one. Yeah, I, I was. I went to speak with the. Uh, Casino guy. The 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 well, I'm headed. Yeah, just prepared be prepared for a fight. Yay. And daily's reset. Apologies for the unpleasantness, mm -hmm. Commander. This is why I insist on appointments. Happy to help. Mainly because now you owe me. The fact that I'm still able to walk is a point in your favor for sure. <laughs> and this time of war does make for strange bedfellows. Cormier knows I've had worse. I'm only after Balthazar, you understand? I can't be dragged down by whatever else you've got going on. My organization makes it possible for me to do many things. Fun public works, donate to our refugee guests, keep candle after candle burning at Cormier's temples. <sighs> I never wanted to cross the Morden Crescent, but I suppose it was inevitable. I'm grateful you were here for the Archon's overture, so I'll keep an ear to the ground on your behalf. Okay, cool. So I just made friends with a guy. Oh, you're no okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Figure. Uh, figures. They're uh, talking. Yep. And now I'm in the one that you were just doing. <laughs> a high commander, your guildmates were just regaling us with tales of your adventures. You honor us. It's not every day a dragon slayer walks through our door. The counselor must have misunderstood my part of the story, or she wouldn't be bending over backwards <laughs> to slay your ego. Well, thank you for the compliment. Hmm. 
<laughs> this time oh my god, everyone's dragon. dying. Why is everyone I'm dying? Do you have any information on his what do you expect from something with power like Joko? We only know he's constantly on the move, chasing who knows what. And that Amnoon is essentially surrounded by his troops, which maybe you have some insight into. We're at a bit of an impasse. Joko's government sent representatives of the Morden Crescent to Amnon to offer military support against the Forged. I think I ran into those representatives at the casino. There may be fewer of them now. The Morden Crescent may no longer be the honorable Sun Spears they once were, but they would make powerful allies. And in a time like this, we need all the help we can get. You people have history books? Open any one of them and it'll tell you short-term gains bring long-term trouble. <sighs> like makes a good point. The right idea. We should be grateful the Morden Crescent are even considering helping us. We should fly Joko's standard and make it clear we welcome his kingdom's support. Ah, the lapdog. We've resisted Joko for years. I'm not about to let him waltz in. And without a fight? Never. <laughs> It's nonsense. Our only option is to align ourselves with Okay, after this time uh you can get bath and put it down. All right. Align with either side will only lead to future conflict. And noon has been independent and should remain First. independent. And round and round it goes. I'd welcome any counsel you might have, commander. <laughs> It's easy for your char friend to dismiss the threat we face. Joko is nobody's first choice, but we can't afford to turn down the Archon's offer. The Mordant Crescent oh, he looks so weird. is with the strength to ensure our survival. Your survival? Do you want to survive as a member of Joko's awakened army? The Sun Spear's numbers are weakened. And the involvement could still be a beacon of hope. Their order has sacrificed everything to defy Joko and the Mordant Crescent. It reset? No, it did not. Amnoon must remain independent. Our doors have always been open. It's how we survived this long. The moment we pick a side, we're asking for trouble from the others. And you, Counselor. You're awfully quiet over there. There are no good options here. All of these plans are suicidal. I can't endorse any of them. <laughs> Spear Marshal Cormier was a local hero, even before she fought a fallen god and took his power. You know, I've never died in one of these before. Mm. Always encourage these people to keep fighting, even when darkness is closing in. We may be a small group now, but an alliance with the Sun Spears would be the light in the dark this city needs. These people should just look out for themselves. The minute these yapping windbags let a creature like Joko into this city, they give up any hope of freedom. He might be the biggest gun around here, but what happens after the Forged are defeated? Every decision you make has a cost. In this case, all the people have to do is serve Joko forever after they die. What a deal! <laughs> Uh, 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 some background information. Uh, in troubles. I think it's called this free city for a reason. We've always done things on our own, and all are welcome here. But it's the forge and the storm. The city is on the edge of disaster. He talks too long. Yep. I will be back in a bit. Alrighty. I'm not sure our independence is a point of pride. We've been re recruiting cavaliers, and maybe we simply need to recruit more. But I may not. Have, but it may not be enough, and our people are suffering. Awakened Joker, one of the most powerful necromancers in the land. He seized control of much of the desert through trickery and force, and of his undead awakened army. Not even considering him. There are those within his domain who love him and swear by his leadership, and his army is larger than anything we could muster. It would be a disrespect 
uh, a desperate act, but these are desperate times. The uh, Sun Spears. The Sun Spears are Alona's defenders. The goddess Cormira herself was once a Sun Spear, but Jokar has done everything in his power to weaken their name and numbers. So what can the Sleepers offer them? They may be few, but they are dedicated, and they are a symbol of resistance. The Alliance might help them ra might help them rally, if we got help from Cormir's priesthood as well. We could have a chance. Uh, Resist Joko with symbol of Cormir and some spears. Thank you for your input, Commander. We'll fly the symbol of Cormir and the Sun Spear Resistance. Amnoon will be a wellspring of hope, a light for the rest of the desert to follow. Cormir be praised. <laughs> no good thinking. There's no way history will repeat itself when this is all over. <laughs> I'm inspired already. King Joko will make sure we regret this decision. You. You just killed us all! The Sun Spears are a liability. They need our help more than we need theirs. I doubt that. Moment, Commander? These people are desperate. Caught up in a war they don't understand. Balthazar came to the desert for Krakator, not for them. But why? Why is he doing it? This is why I wanted you to pick the Sun Spears. To represent Cormir. She might guide us to answers or intervene in Balthazar's actions, especially if his goal is noble, but his path is not. Your hope is... inspiring. Thanks. Have you heard from Tyler? <laughs> I couldn't get a clear signal. Guess I should try again. I have some big news to share. There must be some place that's clear of interference. I'll look once I've finished gathering information. Alrighty then. I am really liking this area.